Hello, my name is Mark and welcome to Mustangs Plus and Restomuds How To Video. Today we're going to show you how to remove and replace a distributor and uh, what I want to cover first of all, these are some of the options that we have in replacing your original distributor. We have an MSD and we also have a Protronix. They're both electronic uh, and they're very, very good distributors for replacement. But what we're going to do again today is we're going to take our original distributor out and we're going to replace it and we're going to show you some of the flaws or some of the things that you should not do and some of the things you should do prior to starting work. And with that, let's get going. Okay, we're here at our project car and first thing we're going to do, we're going to disconnect the battery cable. Disconnect the ground, that way we don't have any power, nothing. Car won't start. We're going to take the air cleaner off take our little wing nut, we'll take our whole assembly out, set it down. Here we have the top, the top cap and what we want to do is we want to take, we want to take a marker of some type and I know that this car right now is at top dead center. I can see the top dead center right down here, it's marked, it says uh, TDC, top dead center. I've marked it so that we know that this distributor right now is at top dead center. And this is for those applications that you already have a working distributor that you're going to replace. So it's already marked. We're going to pull the cap off. Screwdriver, we've got these clips. There's the cap. Just set that aside. What we have here is our rotor. This is what makes contact with the cap and it, this is what actually causes the firing. This is removable. It only goes on one way. So what we're going to do, this is pointing right here. That's top dead center. What we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of tape, a little bit of blue tape. We're going to put it down on the intake manifold just like that and then we're going to take a marker in this case just a, a blue sharpie and we're going to mark the direction of that rotor for reference okay now we the car is at top dead center our rotor is marked I'm also going to mark the area down here where the distributor sits in in, in relationship to the engine block. That's also marked. So we have three reference points. Top dead center, where the rotor's pointed, and also the, the engine block and where the distributor shaft actually sits down. And with that, we're gonna pull out the distributor. Okay, I've got everything disconnected, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up on the distributor and pull up on it, and you can see it start to lift up. If for some reason it does not lift up, don't take a hammer to it. Just work it like this, turn it, it should pull straight up, and there you have it. Here's our distributor, it's in working order, the gears are good, everything's good. That's all there is to taking out this distributor. Okay, this is our same distributor, we're just going to show you how to reinstall it. We've got everything pretty much, the rotor's there, everything works, the gear is good. We're gonna drop it down, and you will notice that it catches on the gear. Slide it down, rotate. Okay, now it's down. Okay, We're, we are slightly off a tooth. So what we can do is we can just pick this back up, rotate it, and it'll drop right back down. And the reason it's not going down is because it's not in line with the uh, oil pump drive shaft. Okay, so now we've got it in. Now what we want to do is we want to show you what happens when you install this distributor in incorrectly. And this is a common practice done unintentionally by many people, including myself. You only have to do it once 
and then typically you'll never do it again. Okay, we're going to start this car up knowing that we've got a few things wrong. Distributor is probably off a tooth or so. Uh, the damper's been uh, turned, but everything's hooked up. We're assuming that it's in correctly. So let's start it and see what happens. Whoa! There you go. Car will not start. We did something wrong. Okay, we're ready to show you how to get your car at top dead center. What we've got is we've got a ratchet on our crankshaft, which is a 15 16 I'm going to take my index finger. I've already removed the number one spark plug. And I'm going to put my finger inside the spark plug hole. And then I'm going to turn on the crank. And I'm going to wait till I feel pressure on my finger, which is actually going to try to blow it out of the hole. When that happens, I know I'll be coming up to top dead center. And then I'll show you what TDC is, where it's located, and we'll be at top dead center. Okay, here it goes. We're at top dead center right now. We've just felt the compression. My finger was kind of blown out of the hole, and now we're coming right up to the markings on the damper, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, we're going to show you top dead center. As you see my finger down here, there's markings on this damper, TDC, that's top dead center. There's also another mark. Those are timing marks. They're increments of three, and that's how you, you'll adjust your timing, which are uh, before top dead center. But we've got it lined up. We're going to stab our uh, new distributor in, get our cap. And what I want to show you on the cap is that the majority of caps have the number one. You'll see this number one. That is where number one cylinder goes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our number one from our uh, distributor uh, spark plug wire and that's where that's going to go. Now we're going to follow the firing order uh, on this uh, 289 and get it all wired up, get our distributor put in, get the cap, get the rotor, and uh, button it all up and this thing should fire right up. Okay, we're ready to, to install our distributor. And I just want to show you that we've got our rotor on here. It only goes on one way. And we're going to index our cap. And what I mean by that is I'm going to show you where number one is. Put the cap on. It locks right in. Here's our number one plug wire right here. I run my finger down to the housing that's good where I'm going to mark it. That's where I want the number one to be right there. I'll take my felt tip and you can see I've started to mark it. We're going to mark it right there. When we get this in, we want the rotor as close to that mark as possible. And that'll be right at top dead center. And then we can go ahead and fine tune it uh, as we get the car started. Okay. Let's get this in. Okay, we've got it in. We're pretty much lined up right there. If we put the cap on, it lines up with number one and, and we've got room to advance it. With that, we're going to button it up. We're going to hook up the coil and we're going to see if this puppy will start. Okay, we've got our timing light here. It just happens to be uh, the shop timing light. We're going to hook it up. We take our inductive hookup right here we hook it up to the number one plug wire. We'll just snap that on. We'll take our positive, hook it up to the solenoid positive, and our negative onto the negative post of the battery. And as you can see, we've got power to our unit, and we're ready to get this thing going. We'll get the car started, and I'll show you exactly what the timing marks look like. Okay, we're ready to start this car up, and we'll have to massage the distributor just to make sure. Okay, let's crank it up. Okay, it's not starting. We're going to move the distributor, advance it a little bit. Okay, start it. There we go. You can see our timing light is referencing top dead center on the strobe. Now we're going to show you the timing marks down there. It's marked top dead center 
and it's right on top dead center. You'll note that if I move it clockwise, it advances the timing. I can advance it quite a bit. We're going to put it about six degrees before top dead center, about right there. And that's pretty much where this car is going to run very well at this uh, timing. You can see the timing marks. We, I'll show you one more time. We can back off a little bit. You see where it moves? Now we're going to move it up a little bit till we get to about three degrees, six degrees, about right there. We'll cinch down the uh, lockdown bolt on the distributor and we'll be good to go. We've got it perfectly in time. Okay, that concludes this session of how to uh, with Mustangs Plus and Resto Mods. We've removed the distributor, we've put it in, we've shown you top dead center, we've shown you how to mark it, we've got our engine all put back together, and uh, we can close this hood down, take this puppy out for a spin, and keep cruising.